here's some beautiful shots of the sunset uh, that viewers have sent in to us tonight through the hashtag BNKSBY. A lot of them calling this the last sunset of 2019 as we head into 2020. Beautiful shots out there of our central coast. This one from Sherry. You can see those beautiful saturated colors out there. And if you have any great shots of your New Year's Eve celebration, send them in to us. Again, that hashtag be on KSBY and we'll get them up here for your evening newscast 10 and 11. I want to tell you about this high surf advisory that we're seeing out there right now. That advisory is effective through tomorrow at 2 o'clock and that's when the high surf warning takes effect and kind of takes over going into Thursday. The difference here is the advisory is just more of a, an annoyance and it's a little bit of conditions that you're not really um, having a good time with because the waves are a little choppier. But as we get into tomorrow, those waves are really going to start to pick up and become dangerous. So we're getting into the 15 to 20 feet breaking wave zone with dangerous rip currents out there. So I know a lot of those polar plunges are taking place. If you are participating, keep in mind that it could be dangerous the further out into the water you go. So. Current temps right now are pretty nice, 55 in Santa Barbara, 54 in Santa Maria, 57 in San Luis Obispo, and a little chillier in Paso Robles at 53 degrees. Our weather watchers for the day, for the day just how high uh, the temperatures got out there, Pismo Beach up to 51, Morro Bay 52, Lompoc 49, Paso Robles 41 degrees, and Goleta a little bit uh, cooler today, 50 degrees, Santa Barbara 53, San Luis Obispo 50, and Santa Maria 50 degrees. Our current winds aren't too gusty out there. We're looking at a maximum of 8 miles per hour with most areas calm. However, that is going to start to shift as we get into Wednesday. More on that in just a moment. But first, I want to show you our microclimate model where our cloud cover is pretty minimal. We're going to see a little bit of haziness as we get into Wednesday afternoon with those clouds coming in off the coastline in certain areas of Vandenberg and Gaviota, but really not uh, filling up the skies too much. So it should be pretty clear skies into tonight and tomorrow and into Thursday with maybe a little bit of wispy clouds here and there, but really not a whole lot up there to block your view of the sky. As I mentioned, our winds right now are pretty mild unless you look at Lompoc, Santa Barbara, maybe about 12 miles per hour. Not too bad there, but winds will die down before they start to pick up again getting into Wednesday evening. So as you can see, they back off, but by Wednesday evening up to 21, 21 miles per hour in Lompoc where it's typically a little bit windier and it's going to persist through Wednesday evening but clear up by Thursday so those winds are going to start to back off. Forecast for tomorrow is shaping up to be pretty nice. 68 degrees in Santa Barbara, Lompoc 64, 65 in Santa Maria, 66 in San Luis Obispo and 61 in Paso Robles. In Santa Barbara County along the coastline we're looking at mid to high 60s in most areas again with those clear skies and nice wind conditions. We're looking at mid to high 60s in the five cities area in San Luis Obispo. We're looking at low to mid 60s along the coastline. Santa Maria, the high for the week is probably going to be Friday with a high of 66 degrees. Santa Barbara, same situation Friday 67. Again, clear skies there. Paso Robles and San Luis Obispo looking pretty nice throughout the week with a, low, a high of 58 degrees in Paso Robles, the coolest in our area on Thursday, but mostly looking at a great weather forecast for the start of your new year. Karina.